They had great affection, however, as we have seen, for their monarch, and for fifteen or sixteen years all the spinning wheels were silent throughout the land. The little princess Aurora grew up without ever having seen one. But one day the king and queen, being absent at one of their country houses, she gave her governess the slip, and running at will through the palace and upstairs from one chamber to another, she came at last to a turret with a winding staircase, from the top of which a strange whirring sound attracted her and seemed to invite her to climb up. As she mounted after the sound, all of a sudden it ceased. But still our princess followed the stairs and came at the very top to an open door through which she looked in upon a small attic where a tired-looking old woman sat all alone, winding her distaff. This old soul had never in sixteen years heard of the king's prohibition against spindles. "'What are you doing, Goody?' asked the princess. "'I am spinning, pretty one,' answered the old woman, who did not know who she was. "'Spinning? What is that?' "'What is the world coming to?' lamented the old woman. "'How could a beautiful thing such as yourself not know of the vital art I engage in?' Such a sentiment, of course, was natural enough for an old crone to have. This old woman had, after all, seen the world pass her by and change, all from her little attic on the top of a remote tower. Spinning, she said wisely, I be spinning, dearie, as should you, for no pretty person is fit to keep house until said person has learned to spin.' 